All right, folks, we're going to be talking, well, no surprise about Switch 2, but in a bit of a different light. We focused a lot on the hardware, but it's the software that matters. And today we have some news regarding software that is going to be coming to Nintendo Switch 2, coming out of Microsoft, because Phil Spencer did an in-depth interview with the fine folks over at Bloomberg and gave us some details on their future plans to bring games to other platforms, such as Nintendo and PlayStation. And yes, Nintendo was brought up. This wasn't just focused on PlayStation here. And he also talked about their next platform or one of the platforms they're working on. And it confirms a lot of rumors and reports out there about something that might actually be competing directly in some fashion with the Nintendo Switch 2. So uh, I think this is actually worth talking about in a grander discussion. Plus, a bunch of this stuff's coming to Nintendo Switch 2 anyways, even though Obviously, it's not announced because, well, the platform's not announced. Microsoft can't start, like, announcing games for a platform that hasn't been announced yet, even though Nintendo's admitted it exists. Very weird situation we're in. Not everyone's going to be like, you go replay Lee. I got it. You guys can stop adding me in the comments, telling me I keep saying replay Lee incorrectly. Look... It doesn't roll off the tongue as easy. It is what it is. All right, before we dive into this interview and all that, I want to remind you guys we're on our road to 140,000 subscribers. Pretty simple. You like staying up to date on Nintendo? You like staying up to date on all the good stuff? Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It's that simple. Let's go ahead and hop on over to Bloomberg here where we see this quote here where it says, after releasing the first batch of Xbox games for Sony Group Corporation, PlayStation, and Nintendo Company's Switch, Spencer is pleased with the results. Microsoft will do more of that, he said, and won't rule out any game in Microsoft's stable. And here's a direct quote. I do not see sort of red lines in our portfolio that say, thou must not, he said. It's too early to make any sort of decision on the next version of Halo, he said. So, one, obviously, what he is saying is everything they have is going third party at one point or another. Even if there's, like, temporary exclusivity on, like, Microsoft and PC, like, the next Halo launches, like, three months earlier on Microsoft and PC, everything's going to go third party. That's essentially what he's saying without saying it, because he's saying nothing in our portfolio is ruled out from being on PlayStation and Nintendo. Uh, so obviously, you know, our minds start racing. There's a lot of things we'd like to see. Rare Replay is like that big one that we're like, oh man, we got to get Rare Replay at least, right? That's been rumored for a long time for Switch. I don't know if it's happening on Switch. I don't know if it's happening on Switch. I don't know if we'll ever get Rare Replay, but that is like an obvious one. But besides that, I'm actually focused more on Microsoft of today, right? We have Indiana Jones coming out, and we already know Indiana Jones is heading over to PlayStation 5 next year, early next year. Wouldn't it be kind of neat if it's also technically heading early to Nintendo Switch 2? It's just they can't release it on there until the system comes out we already know there's a 10-year contract for call of duty that's been quite public that begins once switch 2 releases wouldn't be surprised if black ops 6 this year is like that first call of duty game over on nintendo switch 2 even though obviously at that point we're starting to get ready for the next call of duty because it's a yearly franchise still it would be good to have it because it would be the current call of duty at that time i would love to get the war zone and all that stuff over as well i'm sure that's just a matter of time but here's the thing uh <laughs> What I find really interesting about all of this is just talking about other things. You know, we got Skyrim. Does this mean we're going to get The Elder Scrolls on Nintendo Switch 2, that new one that's being made? The next Fable game that's been, you know, teased and stuff. Is that game going to come over? Obviously, Halo and Gears of War and pretty much everything that their studios are outputting are on the table. I mean, God, can you imagine a day where World of Warcraft hits console with Switch 2? That would be just wild, man. So I'm just throwing out there that I really think we're in an advantageous situation with Switch 2. And this is just further proof that one of Nintendo's own partner companies that, by the way, Nintendo put it in this graphic in their financial report. There's the Microsoft logo. It's right there. Like, this is a big partner for Nintendo moving forward. And here's Phil Spencer just being like, yeah, pretty much everything's probably coming over. Uh, there's not anything that we wouldn't consider. So uh, I like that. Now, there's other things for Microsoft that you might be uh, worrying about. And that has to do with their 
hardware, of course, because we all know the Xbox Series X and S has not been a very successful generation outside of the United States. They've really uh, lost a lot of ground in Europe. They made a little ground up in, uh, well, at least they did for a bit in Japan, but pretty much everything's so far behind Nintendo. It's not really super relevant, but they did talk about how they actually are going to be making a gaming handheld, uh, but he admitted that that gaming handheld is well, let's just read what he said. Now, here we are over at Engadget, where it says Xbox considering a PC gaming handheld in the series years away. Uh, he talked to IGN about this. So Xbox is exploring a PC gaming handheld. Microsoft Gaming CEO Phil Spencer told Bloomberg in an earlier interview with IGN, Spencer had mentioned a hypothetical Xbox gaming PC device, which now appears to be in the early research and prototyping stage. Spencer told IGN that he liked his Asus ROG ally Lenovo, Legion Go, and Steam Deck, and that local play would be important to include if Xbox were designed a handheld console. As Kotaku noted, it's not clear what unique features the xbox handheld would bring to the table still any piece of hardware is years away and as you're seeing here we went right over to that bloomberg article and it says the executive who has repeatedly professed his admiration for handheld game devices said the expectation is what we would do is that we would do something in that category although the company is working on prototypes and considering what it might do spencer also asked his group to look at the market and develop his vision based on what it learns such a device is a few years out he said now a few is more than two could be three could be five could be ten who the hell knows uh but yeah it looks like microsoft is going to be obviously releasing a handheld device uh something he's hinted at before but now it's like yeah we're actually actively developing this thing uh, and it's going to be out in a few years now that's going to be obviously well after nintendo switch 2 has been on the market for two or three years so nintendo switch 2 will have a nice head start and i'll probably be dominating that market but also this thing sounds like a handheld pc device which for microsoft makes a lot of sense they are a pc first company they make windows they make servers like you know it, it makes a lot of sense but what i will say is that uh, i am intrigued a little bit here intrigued a little bit by what's happening because the bottom line is uh we don't know how this is going to impact anything i think it's probably more like it's more competition for steam deck and steam deck 2 and other stuff like the rg allies of the world than it is nintendo but what if then what if microsoft bridges the gap what if they bridge the gap between pc gamers and home console gamers that is something microsoft might be uniquely positioned to do and then they could actually create a whole new market that may eat into Nintendo's market a little but uh, you know time will tell obviously on that front uh, we'll talk more about this tonight on the Nintendo Byte podcast because I do think it's fascinating to explore the world where Microsoft has a semi-successful handheld venture that's maybe even bigger than their home console also this does bring up a question uh is this Phil Spencer saying they are no longer going to be making traditional home consoles I think that is a conversation we're gonna have to have at some point uh, if Phil Spencer doesn't guarantee there will be a future standard home console. So uh, I guarantee we're gonna have a PlayStation 6. PlayStation 5 is still really popular, so it would make sense to have a PlayStation 6. Uh, there's also rumors that Sony might actually be making a handheld. Of course, Sony hasn't confirmed any of this stuff, but uh, you know, I think Sony would probably just announce the damn thing rather than talk about it in interviews like Phil Spencer does. Of course, we also thought, you know, Nintendo wouldn't talk about Switch 2 until they reveal it. And then Furukawa's now brought it up twice, including dropping features for it. So you know what? We're in a new era where sometimes the CEOs just come out and start talking before they should. Now, technically, Phil Spencer's not a CEO in the traditional sense, but you know that he runs, obviously, the entire Microsoft gaming division. That being said, folks, uh, I am Nathaniel Rojas from Nintendo Prime. Let me know what you think about all this stuff down below. What games and, like, old old games that Microsoft has in their library and, and really future games in Microsoft's lineup do you want to see coming over to Nintendo Switch 2? Obviously, presuming that it ends up running decently well. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am Nathana Robojance from Nintendo Prime, and I'll catch each and every one of you in the next video. And hopefully on the podcast today.